matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing us, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator and God. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 121 pounds. Fighting out of Doha, Qatar, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Magic Man! You have belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch that, do it now, go back to your corner. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight? Oh. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain to finish the fight. He's hurt. Out. He's hurt. That kick blocked by and got it. Oh, straight right.
Straight right hand, no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice stupid punch. Try to establish that jab. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. He got him bad! Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in a half guard position on the mat. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over! Holy smokes! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by...